So uh, today we'll be checking out the Magento 2 point of sale system, which is a complete web based point of sale solution for managing multiple physical stores, retail outlets at different locations and helps in synchronizing the data like the sales, orders, inventory, products with your online web store. In the previous video, we showed you how to configure the plugin options and to creation of the outlets there. In today's video, we'll be showing you the workflow of the retail web POS terminal at the sales agent's end. We'll be showing you how the sales agents can access the POS terminal and the different features available to them under the POS sales agent terminal there. So we'll be just showing you the workflow of the same. But before we proceed further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now, I'm at the POS terminal or the web-based terminal uh, front end right now, from where the sales agents can log into their account panel there for the POS terminal. So to access this terminal, the POS agent just needs to add uh, after the .com, for example, if your website is uh, www.example.com, then you need to uh, uh, postfix forward slash POS after the .com. So that would be www.webexample.com forward slash POS. And then this particular POS terminal would uh, get visible. Now the username and the password that the admin has created those can be used by the POS terminal agent to log into the web based uh, POS terminal. So let's enter the details and tap on the sign in button thereafter. So after login, we have the terminal screen here on the left hand side, we have the default category products being listed. On the right hand side, we have the cart. On the very top left hand corner, we have the three horizontal lines. If I tap on that, we have uh, the option to log out of the uh, sales agent uh, terminal there. Or from the POS terminal there then we have the uh, cashier name that's the John Ben and here we have the home option order history orders on hold cash draw refresh product list refresh category list so now re tapping on the refresh category list would refresh the category list there uh, for the POS terminal the same would uh, the option that's the refresh product list would refresh the complete product list and would synchronize it with the online web store there for both of the products and the category list there under the cash draw the uh, pos agent can find the complete details of the crash drawer then we have the orders on hold any of the orders which have been put on uh, hold would be visible under the orders on hold so if i tap on that you can see that one of uh, the, the orders that we have here on hold is having two different products and from here the uh, US agent can delete the cart or can record the cart as well. Let's tap here on the cross icon to go back. Now, uh, apart from that, we also have the order history wherein the uh, US uh, agent can find the complete online orders that have been placed. He can also check the offline orders that have been placed. And for any of the orders that has been placed, he can print the invoice and can generate a return as well. Now let's uh, tap across uh, there on the top. So that was about the three uh, lines that we see here, the three horizontal lines. And then we have the home button. That's the home screen that takes back, back uh, uh, to this particular screen once again. Then we have the default category. So the products being displayed right now on the POS terminal are from the default category. You can choose to uh, select any other category as well. For example, women. And here you can see the subcategories as well as the tops and the bottoms and you can just uh, uh, go through them as well step back and uh, similarly you can go to any other category as well and the subcategories and the products under those uh, particular categories would then be displayed here on the POS terminal itself so let's go for the default category now to the right of uh, this default category section here we have the search option so here uh, the POS terminal agent can search for the products as well so for example I want to search for stylish so you can see that how this particular search works I have found the product that's uh, having the word stylish in it uh, then here we have the uh, network indicator button that shows whether you are online or offline right now we are online so it's showing a green icon if we were offline then it would show this type of an icon here with a uh, cross going between the, uh, the icon there so now we are back online 
then here uh, just above the uh, shopping cart here we have the option to add a custom product so if you want to add a custom product you can do that by tapping here you can enter the name of the uh, product there you can set the price of the product the quantity that you want to set within the cart and if you want you can set a note as well and then you can tap here on the continue button and the particular custom product would then be added here here you can see that two units as at $123 per unit that is $246 so that's how you can add a custom product from here you can uh, put the POS into a full screen mode here we have all of the orders that are on hold this uh, option the synchronized option is used to synchronize the offline orders with the store whenever the internet is restored back and the last one is the cart icon that shows the uh, current number of items within the cart there to delete a product from the cart just tap here on the delete button tap ok on the prompt and the cart would be cleared out now how to add a product into the cart and how to make it check out thereafter so for example if i want to purchase a stylish jacket i can tap on that i can tap uh, on the stylish jacket itself and this uh, pop-up comes up so i'll have to choose my color and my size and i'll then just tap uh, on the add to cart button to add it to the cart there i'll tap done so i've added the product into the cart as you can see now if i tap on this particular product now other options at the bottom also uh, are enabled the very first one is the quantity option so i can change the quantity that's within the cart right now we have one unit i can clear it out i can make it as five units and you can see that the cart has now five units at hundred dollars per unit there for the stylish jacket then we have the barcode or the sku option here so this option can be used uh, to add the products directly to the cart by using a barcode that is attached to your machine there or you can also enter the sku of the product so for example i have the stylish jacket this is the sku for my own the products if i tap done you can see that i got the option to add the product into the cart i can choose my size and i can choose my color as well and uh, let's check let's choose them up and i'll add it to the card so that's how you can make use of the barcode sku to scan the products and directly add them into the cart or you can make use of the sku of the product to add that particular product into the cart as well now we have two different products into the cart now first uh, i'll show you how we can make a checkout but before that uh, for example uh, I'll select this product here in the cart now here you can see that we had two different options one is the cart discount and the other one is the cart item discount the cart discount applies on the complete uh, cart there so uh, if I tap on the cart discount I can set it as fixed to percentage and I can set the discount amount for example $10 if I apply that up here on the right hand side here you can see the custom cart discount has been applied as $10 to the cart there now the other one that's the cart item discount this applies to per product there so for example it's fixed and the discount is ten dollars then uh, this discount would be applied to the actual price of the product so if i apply that up just give me a second let me apply that up all right the customer discount has been applied so uh, now for one unit we have ten dollars off so it was actually for 200 now it would be there for 190 dollars only so that's why the total is 690 dollars now so that's how you can also apply the cart item discount on the products within the cart there then uh, to make a checkout you'll have to choose a customer so just tap on the customer so from here you can uh, choose a customer already if uh, the customer is there you can enter the name of the customer and uh, the name of the customer would be populated here otherwise if it's a new customer you can tap here on the yellow icon for the add customer enter the details and tap on the continue button so for now i'll just choose, be choosing the default one that's veronica costello and i'll be tapping here on the pay button now after tapping on the pay button will be redirected and uh, on the section here uh, you can edit the address by tapping here on the edit uh, address button you can add an address as well or you can edit the already set address as well by tapping here on the edit button if you have a discount coupon code you can enter that up and you can apply that up as well you can enter a custom message now uh, for the payment method payment method can be taken as uh, cash as well as from the credit or debit card 
or it and also be taken as split payment that would be uh, taken from the cash as well as from the credit card there so depending upon that you can make the payment so for now I'll be making it as cash and I'll be tendering six hundred dollars so the change 12.46 needs to be returned so let's tap here on the place order button so you can see that the order has been easily placed and here if you check here's the custom discount on the product here for one unit uh, it was for two hundred dollars we got ten dollars off so it was for one ninety dollars so one ninety plus five hundred is six ninety dollars there and, and the rest of the details as well and here's the change amount that the uh, customer needs to receive from the uh, sales agent there now let's start here on the next order button so let's now let's see how we can put an order on hold we already have one order on hold so i'll just tap here on this order on hold uh, cart and i'll delete the cart now let's go back to the home page now let me add this product and uh, let's add it to the cart now maybe the customer doesn't want to purchase uh, this product right now he asked it asked you to add it to the cart but now he wants some more products and he wants to go ahead and he wants to check those products and he'll get them and he'll ask you to add those two into the card so for that time what we can do is we can uh, hold this card uh, here so i'll just tap here on the whole card and we need to provide uh, uh, the uh, uh, the note for the uh, uh, reason for the uh, why we need to put the uh, card on hold there so i'll enter customer needs to purchase more products okay now just the products now I'll tap okay now you can see that the cart item has uh, entered here in this on the top right hand corner you can see this icon there the put cart on hold let me tap on that now here's our cart with uh, the respective product there now if i want i can re uh, cart this product into the cart as well or i can delete the cart i can recart and it would be added to back to the cart and then the uh, sales agents can uh, proceed further and can uh, make a payment there from the take a payment from the customer there and can complete the order as well so that was uh, about the put cart on hold now uh, what if there's no internet so i'll just make the uh, pos in offline mode now now uh, let's proceed further and let's make a payment for this order there so i'll just cancel this out i'll choose the customer i'll tap on the pay button i'll place the order the order has been placed as you can see now here on the top right hand corner uh, on the synchronize you can see one order it's showing that means one order is in the offline mode now to check that up let's go back and on the home screen let me go to the orders uh, order history and here on the offline order list you can see the particular order that we had just uh, placed in the offline mode from here you can sync the order uh, when the internet is back there or you can also tap here to synchronize the order with the online store there so that all of the things are synchronized there the orders get synchronized automatically there now apart from that uh, if i go to the order history i can uh, do a return as well for an order so for example i have this particular order i can tap here in the return i can choose return to stock and the other options that you can see here and then i'll have to tap here on the done button and you can see that the credit memo list would be generated for this particular order number 82. so that's how easily you can uh, create the correct credit memos as well using the uh, online retail web pos system or the terminal here so uh, we went to the offline order list online order list let's go to the home we check the home page the categories how we can select the categories and uh, get the products here how we can search the products using the product name uh, how we can add a custom uh, product how we can check the orders and hold the offline orders and how we can add the cart discount the cart item discount and how we can make a payment and make a check out there so yes that was much about uh, today's uh, video tutorial for uh, the magento 2 point of sale system and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com 
you can raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead